EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Marr now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Throwing on first down is Breeze. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 19 yards there on the catch and run. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Catch here, left side, Thomas. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. You kill. Hey, Delta. Check 48 to Mike. You don't want to get it. Pick up the ball. Wait a Now Breeze. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jalen Smith in there to get him. It's a loss of five. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Watch the run. Watch the run. 48. 48 to Mike. Let's go. Let's get this ball back for the offense. Let's... You're good. You're good. High four. Ready. Check 99. Now Breeze on third down. And Gens got it. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. First down. First down, at the 45 yard line. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. To throw, it's Breeze. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. Pass the 20. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Camara, 45 yards. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Lux with the extra point, and that makes the score 7 0. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This one taken just inside the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He finds Randall Cobb on the completion. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, 
I think, have running back in their background. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Throwing on second and three, Prescott. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. On first and 10, Prescott. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Brings up second and nine at the 22-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Check, 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 check. They were going 53. He's checking crap. A handoff left, Allian shrugs him off, and he's got some space here, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown, 22 yards, and the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game, and on his way to the end zone shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run. Making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle. No running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Did they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. From the gun on third down, Breeze. Caught on the left side by Ginn. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. To throw his breeze. Complete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Looking to throw. Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper. 31 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Mar now to add the extra point. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game.
Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a second and ten. Kamara trying to right side. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. The second down play not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Bree's going to throw. And he'll let it fly in the direction. And got his man complete. The 20, 10, touchdown, New Orleans. 10 again, 81 yards. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of the play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Oh, the Saints recovered it. New Orleans football. I can't say that's something you see often, but... It worked out for them. Tie game. They try to get the ball back, and they do. You know, when I was a kid, my dad used to give me a lot of tales about this guy called Old Mo. Hey, I never knew who Old Mo was. Now you I do. It's Old Momentum, and they want to keep riding it. Old oh, Mo. Is that a true story? Or? True story. Oh, I love your pops. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. On second and 15 now. Breeze over the middle, open is Thomas. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They go play action here on first down. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Breeze now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Again, this is Kamara. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Drew Brees does it again. Three first half touchdown passes for him now. And the Saints have moved out in front. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And 
now Dallas gets set to take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Forced out to his left. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And this is caught at the 20. A big play here for Dallas. 57 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. That's what's happening to the defense right now. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Mar on for the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Ready. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And Charles Wade touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your just yeah, Kamara has it stripped. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Prescott to throw this time. Being chased out left. Looking deep. For and this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. <laughs> yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. 
And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. And he lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Now we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These he's got a man complete. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, New Orleans. Ted Ginn, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. That is caught. Traquan Smith, touchdown Saints. Drew Brees turning back the clock. Five touchdown passes for him on the afternoon. And the Saints have moved out in front. Lux with the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, Lux to kick it off. Dallas gets set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw is Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. 
And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Saints. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Breeze now to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. 16 yards, a first down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So first and 10 now from the 30. You can't block me. Hey, Q Q. Q Q. Check, check, check. Shotgun now for Breeze. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And we continue to see another example here of offenses just going for it. And this game has really turned into a receiver's dream and a defender's nightmare because no one's being stopped throwing the ball downfield and points are going on the board. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Ready. They'll come out in the pistol, and just one man in the backfield here. That's Kamara, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Saints add on to their lead. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Final play of the half. Prescott going to take a shot for Gallup. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Prescott from the gun. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by a former first-round pick, Patrick Robinson. Cooper was the intended target. All right, work with me, partner. This is a classic understatement. Their execution has been very poor. Last three drives, two interceptions and a fumble. Winning football? We're not seeing it right now. 
Hey, box drop, box drop. Watch a slap, watch a slap. Here we go, here we go. Play, play. So after the IMT, it's Breeze. Well, this is caught by Gill. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Breeze. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 11 yards there, first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and that'll bring up second down. Byron Jones on the cover. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play call is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far. And a fake here. Direct snap to the up man. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. Von Bell up to make the tackle. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Looking deep in the direction of... And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. So they declined the penalty. That seems a little odd. <laughs> I'm trying to work through it and work with them to figure out why. Well, someone's got to be confused. I, that's what I think. I'm pretty sure that the bench is saying take the penalty, and somehow in the heat of the moment, they thought they were saying decline the penalty, and that's going to work against them. They should have taken it. From the 16, Breeze. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by George Iloka. And that interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. 44, 44, Mike, Mike, 44. On second and nine, Prescott. That is caught inside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Mar now to add the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Next 
following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 18. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. As this game continues to evolve in the NFL, you know how much coaches love run after catch. But you know what they love even more? Completion. Yeah, just holding on to the ball. Catch it, cover it, tuck it away. Whatever you get after that is almost gravy. That's how a lot of these receivers are being taught now. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Breeze now. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And now he's closing in on 450 yards passing. That's an incredible number. I mean, you're talking about the best defenders in the world that you're trying to throw the ball against, and you're creating that type of a number. Fantastic job, fantastic performance. And he's got to ice up his arm afterwards, too. Now Breeze finding Kamara. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be a second down. You're good, you're good. I fool, ready. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. Again has it complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. He goes 21, 21. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. This will be caught at about the five. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now Breeze to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And a 
big loss here as he's taken down. Cameron Jordan able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Van Barrow. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college. And our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be who you are defense. D linemen, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you play the pass. That way you're... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. From six yards away. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. What's good on the extra point? And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Cameron Jordan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Intended that time for Cooper. The number seven, usually lucky here, not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he had won a Heisman Trophy in college, so sometimes you just have a lousy game. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career, but when you're talking about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Yo, do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know.